In this video, we are supposed to work on adding the locked in user's username on the admin sidebar. But before we do that, there is one thing I noticed that I want us to change before I proceed. So I am inside the dashboard.html file and we were using a sidebar overlay um, to collapse the sidebar whenever it is open. Meanwhile, on the front end or on the public section we were using um let me scroll up uh we were using a nav overlay uh, to close the navigation bar so i am considering using the same nav overlay to close the admin sidebar so there was no point for us repeating a a different overlay for the sidebar so what i will do is I am simply going to remove this sidebar overlay and then I copy the class for nav overlay and then I scroll down to our, our JavaScript. I'm going to replace the class to nav overlay so that we are selecting now the nav overlay. I'm also going to rename the variable accordingly. So instead of sidebar overlay, we'll have nav overlay. Now I'm going to open our admin styles and I will remove all styles that have um, all selectors that have nav overlay in them and I'm going to tell you why I'm removing them. Okay, so I think we had just two occurrences of sidebar overlay. Now the reason I'm removing the styles here is because we already defined styles for nav overlay and the styles are pretty much the same as what we just removed for our, nav, our sidebar overlay. So we had a display of none on the normal desktop uh, view and then we had something like uh, a transparent dark background here and we were also assigning and unassigning the open class to the uh, nav overlay. So if we scroll, if we refresh, let's attempt and it works just fine. So we didn't have to stick with the nav overlay or rather with the sidebar overlay. So as you code, you're going to make decisions sometimes that entails uh, cleaning up your code. It is generally a good idea to uh, write as few lines as possible to accomplish as much as possible. Uh, provided those few lines don't add to your complexity. All right, because it was fine to leave the sidebar overlay, but that that also adds some lines of code that um, errors and bugs can spring from, from. Okay, so that's it. We can now move on to adding the locked in user's username on the sidebar. So the first thing we will do is write the HTML for that. And it is simply going to be a div with a class of sidebar author mobile because this is only going to be showing on the mobile device. We'll have an image tag that will point to an asset folder which we are going to create very soon. Alright, so we are going to provide this image in a minute. Uh, let us just leave it at this for now. So let us look at the finished project. So we have the image, which is what I, I just added. And then we have the name and a logout link. For the name, we are going to put it in a level 3 header and we'll give it a class of author name. Okay, let the name just be our Melvin for now, hard coded. And then as for logouts, the logout link is, uh, is just going to be a regular link. We'll make sure we we'll give it a class of logout link because we need to give it a red color. And then the text on it is going to be logout. So if you refresh, okay. 
uh, something is beginning to show here okay so the next step is for us to create a directory for images and then we add our image to that directory so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder in the root folder of our application called assets and inside here we are going to have folders for our css another folder for javascript and another fo folder for images all right so eventually we are going to move our admin style.css into the css folder so this is what we usually refer to as assets it's basically a css images and javascript and it is it's a good idea to uh, group them under this folder okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the image into this images folder so i copy and then i go to the images folder and i paste okay so this is the image i have copied and pasted into the images folder uh now that the now the dashboard.html file is inside the admin folder so we will need to step out of the admin folder before we can access the assets folder and to step out we are just going to provide two dots and then a forward slash and that way we can now access the assets folder and so on okay so let's refresh and we open our sidebar um i expect the image to be showing now or uh, there looks there seems to be a problem somewhere and for such a problem you can use the inspect tools on your browser um let me see assets images oh okay so it is inside the avatar folder in images so we needed to create an avatar folder and make sure that image is inside it okay because that's the path we are providing in our html so if we refresh now we expect to see a very big image okay and that's it so now we need to use our CSS to make sure that this looks like what we have on the finished project. So let us open our admin our style.css file. We will scroll up to where we have the styles for, or rather down, to where we have the styles for our sidebar, which is here. So I'll select the sidebar and then inside the sidebar we have the sidebar mobile so i'll select that too and give it a display of none because we don't want it to be showing on desktop now we are going to go to our media query for mobile we paste this selector for the sidebar author mobile then we give it a display of block so that it should show now on mobile then now we'll display it using flex but usually by default flex will place the child elements in a horizontal manner meaning that the image will be to the left the name to the right and the link to the right uh, but we want them to be stacked vertically with one on top with this with the image on top of the others so we are going to um give it a flex direction of column instead of row we'll give it align items of center and that will make them centralize uh, uh, horizontally it's at the center horizontally and then we'll give some padding at the top of about 76 pixels and that will be all for the uh, wrapper itself so the next thing we are going to select is the image within the wrapper and uh, we are supposed to give it a class of avatar so let's do that now so we are selecting the avatar we give it a height of 90 pixels 
a width of 90 pixels, a border radius of 50%. Uh, not background, repeat, border radius. So let us refresh and see how it looks right now. All right, so it's looking like what we want. Uh, we just need to change the color of the text for both the logout, logout link and the author name. So the next thing we are going to select is the author name. So we'll duplicate selector for the uh, wrapper itself. And then we pick the author name. We gave it a class of author name. We'll give it a color of this color I prepared in the background. We'll give it a margin top of 8 pixels. And then go to the margin top and bottom of 8 pixels. And then uh, we centralize it uh, horizontally. Okay, so that's it. The last thing we need to work on is uh, we give the logout link a kind of red color. Now we're going to use this red colored logout link in a number of places. So I'm just going to define it in the default section. Give it a color of this reddish color. Refresh. And now we can see our sidebar is fully responsive and it has the locked in user's username.